Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of my weekly check-in. 10 days to go, guys. 10 days. And let me tell you, I am ready to get on the stage, ready to do the thing. I'm good to go. This past week was pretty busy. Start of the week, it's always kind of go, 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 go. Lots of client check-ins and just normal work tasks. And then Wednesday kind of rolled around and was my travel day. And I was flying down to Fort Lauderdale for a photo shoot. So it was so, so good. So the gentleman that I shot with and done so many photo shoots with is Sergey Yusin. Sergey is amazing for anybody that is local to Florida and would like to shoot with him. Couldn't praise him highly enough. He is so lovely. It just makes you feel really comfortable, which I think is really important when you're modeling. Like you wanna get in there and just be able to do your thing and not have any trepidation. So he is great and I cannot wait to start sharing some of the photos. So we got to do that on Thursday and my word, I did not realize how early we were going to have to start. So our makeup artists due to arrive at our hotel at 4.30 on Thursday morning because we had to drive from Fort Lauderdale down to Miami to shoot for the first day of shots. I guess it was in the brick wall area. So it's a really cool like arts district. And there's also like a lot of all of the designer shops, but just where it's kind of situated, like there's really cool like graffiti walls and textured walls. And it just, it's really cool. So 4.30, start meant that we had to get up at four to make sure that we had wet clean hair because she likes to kind of style it out I guess make sure it's all smooth and whatnot and because it was me and my girlfriend um the shooting and it was just her <laughs> it was just so early so that's about four I know three hours earlier than what I would normally get up 4 30 oh no it's about two hours earlier than what I normally get up so it was kind of very tiring I must say so we got done I think we wrapped up our first set at about two or 1 30. Um, we also did a studio set as well so we shot in brick wall and then we went to this cool studio took a little bit of a break drove back to Fort Lauderdale and then got re-glammed another round of makeup different hair to finish off our sunset beach photo shoot and the place that we had decided to go we've all pulled up to I guess the parking area and right along that whole stretch of parking spots or spaces it was like no parking between 6 p.m and 6 a.m and then everywhere else was all residential and there's like a parking maid just hanging out there like telling everybody nope you can't park there so we were like what are we gonna do like there's nowhere else and it was kind of really close we already pushed our shoot back like by an hour to 6 p.m instead of 5 p.m and like the sun was fading fast <laughs> so we had to find another random location and it turns out like it was right in like the middle of the busiest beach in Port Lauderdale. So like there was just nowhere else we could go that was private or public beaches. So we're down there with our towels trying to put our like new bikinis on and oh, it was just, <laughs> it was so awkward, but we just had to go with it. I think I was so like mentally done. I was like, you know what? I don't even need a towel. Change my outfit, off we go. <laughs> just no care in the world. So uh, it, was, it was a really fun day. We got some awesome shots. Friday, we actually had a training day. So we took a rest day from our photo shoots and just kind of got the work in. We had high intensity interval training to get in. We had our steps to get in. We had to get our resistance training in and then kind of plan and prepare or work out what we were gonna be shooting in um, for Saturday. That was really nice. Um, I also got to catch up with a friend or actually it's a client of mine who lives in Fort Lauderdale, Claudine. Hi Claudine, if you're watching. <laughs> So we got to spend about an hour. She actually lives down that way. So we went and met her for a drink, which was really lovely. Saturday, we shot at, I don't know whether you guys follow baseball. I didn't follow baseball until I moved here. Actually, I still don't follow baseball. Let's be real, guys. I don't have time for baseball. It's too slow. <laughs> anyway, uh, we shot at Alex Rodriguez's house, or I guess he goes by A-Rod. So that was a really cool. It was um, a very ultra modern kind of outdoor area. And it just worked perfectly for kind of these plush, lounge glam kind of looks that we were going for on Saturdays. So you'll get to see some of those shots coming out soon too. And then what else did we do? We also did some sportswear um, at a gym too. That was the weekend. I had to get up again at like four o'clock to fly out on Sunday morning. So I think I got home and like 
I still had to do some hip cardio, which you'll see why in a minute uh, when I go through my check-in details. But I was like, if I sit down at any point, I am going to sleep. So I got home, I had the groceries all delivered like as soon as I got off the plane so that I could do meal prep, get everything kind of organized for the week. And then I, was like, I just said to Lane, I need to go straight to the gym or I'm going to sleep. So I dragged my ass, did 30 minutes of a hit and got a core work in. And then just in the afternoon, got through some work stuff and I'm just like, oh, so we, I finally got to see Lane. I hadn't seen him all week and the week before it was kids. So we're just like, crossing paths, literally. I think I just passed him on the way out as I came into the studio this morning. I finally got to sit down and have a dinner with him, which was really nice. We went to a new place that we hadn't been to before called Oyster Catcher. Again, I'm just like literally spamming you guys with all of the places in Tampa that we go to, but it was really nice. It was an older restaurant and it was, I think, I guess you call it like a white tablecloth, fine dining, but it felt very relaxed. It wasn't like, you know, you had to be super dressed up, but it was a seafood restaurant. So I had like a prawn cocktail town you could order like however many you wanted i took all of my condiments and i made sure that there was like no oil or anything and then i ordered um an ahi tuna which was like a coffee rubbed tuna and then it was usually served with like fried brussels and a bunch of other really good things that i love i think it was like lobster mac and cheese i was like <sighs> What else you got, guys? What can you feed me? So I think I just had like dry sauteed veggies to go with it. So, and I got to fit in or squeeze in a drink, but you'll see, I went over my macros. However, the session that I'd done earlier in the day was kind of anticipating me exceeding my targets. So let's go and have a look at my uh, compliance for the week. I will pull this up for you so you guys can have a quick look. We've got here my calories for the week. So my target, let me go to my settings. You can see here, the coach had set me at 1302. So that was my last week's macros that I was gonna try and hit again because I wasn't compliant. <sighs> Turns out I have a really hard time hitting these numbers and for good reason, it's rough. It, unless you're like just eating air all day and ice cubes, it's not gonna happen. So I'd much rather this week just try and fit in some extra exercise. So you can see here my average for the week, 1484. <laughs> So that works out to be about 181 calories extra every day for the week. Doesn't sound like a lot, like I could sneeze and eat 100 calories. I probably could do that in my sleep, to be honest. So it's not a lot, but you know, like this week I didn't really see a huge weight drop. In fact, I have to go and put a weight in today when I do my actual check-in. So in total, I was over by about 1200 calories for the whole week, but the good thing was I did do a lot extra steps this week. So my step target for the entire prep has been just get 10,000. So 70,000 total for the week. This week I actually did 85,000. So I did 15,000 extra steps uh, over the course of the day. And that was probably just me walking all over Fort Lauderdale, Miami, um, posing, walking around a house and property, trying to find a good spot for photos. So I did do a lot of extra activity in that regard. And I also went in and did an extra 30 minutes of high intensity intervals and a 30 minute kind of core session in the gym. So I didn't actually track on my watch what the calorie expenditure was on the core session in the gym. But if I had to guess that total session probably racked up an extra 200 calories. So there's one day that I made up from eating, overeating. And then the high intensity interval session um, racked up about 500 calories. So all in all, I'm probably just in a deficit. And I think like I'm notably leaner again this week, like I'm seeing the definition, uh, but my fiber intake has gone up a lot this week just because the calories were low. So what will happen is that the high fiber intake is gonna start to mask the negative weight loss on the scale. And for you guys, if you are doing a fat loss phase, keep an eye on your fiber intake. I know I talk about this a lot, but it really can trick you into thinking that you haven't made progress. And again, it's why it's so important to make sure that you are consistent with that intake as much as you can be, because unless you're really Really aware of it. In my case, I am very aware of it. I know I'm losing weight because I can see the changes. It absolutely messes with the number on the scale. So I'll be interested to see what happens this week with my macros. I'm feeling pretty confident that I'm going to be ready. I still have another full week this week of regular training. For anybody that's following me along on the road to wellness, you'll have noticed that this week it's a hard week. Um, for all our big compound lifts, I've taken up the number of sets to four. So a little bit more work goes in this week 
and the uh, intensity has gone up as well. So the repetitions in reserve has gone from two last week and the week before to one. So we're pretty much working as close to failure as possible, not quite, one rep shy. So everything's gonna be a little bit harder this week. Um, I know just from past contests, like the last couple of weeks, like any, the, the smallest change makes such a big difference to your physique. So I'm very confident that by next week, peak week, like I'm going to be peeled but hopefully not too peeled because i did get some feedback from the uh, federation that if i came in as lean as i did last year at it well, not last year in 2019 at the atlantic city show i'm probably tinkering on a very fine line between being a fitness model versus a figure model so it's very hard to know what to do because at the end of the day if i come in softer than I did last year, which that means I'd probably just call it quits right now and just maintain my calories and my weight. If the other girls in the in the, this um, category don't do the same thing and they come in a lot harder, like you were judged based on the people you were standing next to. So it's almost like it takes a movement for the category type to change, if that makes sense. So if, you know, the reigning world champ is Steph, she's usually very, very cut. She has amazing um, proportions. She's got really great legs. Her ge genetics just give her these really beautiful, like swooping quads, um, but really small joints. So everything's just like bubble on bubble on bubble. And she gets very lean. So like, I, I guess we kind of all strive towards what the past winners have done, but the general feel from the organization is that they want to soften the fitness category and push the harder girls into figure because it's not as popular. The other thing that was, it's really confusing in fact, is they've kind of said, oh, why don't you go and put your, like enter into the figure as well. So I can technically in this federation, I can enter into figure and I can enter into fitness. You just pay the fees. But I'm also like, I don't know whether I want to go into figure because first off, that feels like the easy route to success. Like, and I'm not a, okay, I could, maybe. Maybe I'd do really well. I don't know. So I might win a crown as figure. But like the point of me doing this prep, like I've had in my mind, like you're gonna compete against the people you've competed against before and I wanna give it my best in that category. So I'm very, I'm in two minds about entering into figure because I don't wanna be judged like unfairly because they know, oh, well, Holly's gonna be in figure. We're gonna, you know, she's gonna do well in that category. Let's move her out of fitness. Like I don't want to be sitting on the fence and I haven't got a lot of feedback. I just, I don't know. I've tried to reach out to the organization and I know that they're so busy and it's like, it's just hard. So yeah, you can tell I'm clearly like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I think for now I'll probably just stick with fitness, but yes, I guess to wrap that back up. Conditioning, I don't know what's gonna happen this week. I think I'll probably just maintain. So. Let's go and do my check-in. Um, we'll see what we can do. Uh, was I compliant to my calorie targets, macro targets this week? Well, clearly my calories here, as you can see, are way outside that range. I'm going to say that I was. And just from the pure perspective, I know that I did an extra 15,000 steps. Uh, I also did that extra um, hit session and I did some extra work, so. In all honesty, my weight has come down or my leanness, my body fat has dropped, even though the scale doesn't necessarily reflect that. Protein was over, 161 was my average. Oh God, I feel like I've been saying to you guys every week, I'm gonna tighten up my protein, I'm gonna hit that so I've got carbs. I'm a creature of habit, I love protein. So it's not doing me any harm at this point. I'm still feeling okay. My sessions, I'm making it through just fine. Carbs were a little bit over obviously, um, and then fats were a little bit over as well. So I'm still gonna go ahead and put yes, because I know that I'm visibly leaner. My weight this morning was 62.7. Um, and that was out without having done any walking. So usually when I go to the gym in the morning, I'll do at least 30 minutes of walking, just very low intensity. Um, something that isn't going to interfere. Actually, I'm lying to you. 20 minutes is about the most I've been getting in lately. Um, and then I will do my training session afterwards. And then I hop on the scale faster. I've just had my drink at the gym um, and I didn't do that this morning. And I weighed in at 62.7. So there you go. Am I close to my menstrual cycle? <laughs> I don't know. I'm meant to be due on Thursday if I keep following my 14 day cycle schedule, but who knows? So I'm going to put no. 
Does everything look okay? Complete check-in. God, please don't drop my calories, please. Looks like things didn't go as planned. Oh my God. Oh my God. No, it looks like your weight loss hasn't progressed as much as we'd hoped. And guys, that's true. I was aiming for 61.5. So I'm trying to lose about a kilo this week, give or take. For this reason, we are going to lower your calories a little. <laughs> this should help speed up your weight loss to the correct weight. Yeah. Okay. I knew this was coming. Here are the latest macros based on a balanced diet. 12, 14, 12, 14. 144 protein, I'm keeping it right there. 100 grams of carbs, well, 101 and 26 grams of fat. Let's go, bitches. <laughs> okay, so that's what I'm in for this week, guys. Yay, go me. You know what, surprisingly, I think I will do my absolute damn best to hit this. This week, I'm actually getting um, a property right by the gym. I want zero distractions. So we've got the kids this week and we have therapists, school orientations, a bunch of things that I just said to Lane. I have prioritized family life for the last 10 weeks. I'm like, this week I need to focus. I need to pose every day. I don't want people in the house. I don't want to be rocking around in my bikini, posing in my living room while I've got therapists there. I'm getting a little spot right by our gym um, so that I can have that um, you know, space to do all of that because otherwise it's not gonna happen. So I'll do my best to hit that. I'm trying, well, I, I hope that I can. Um, it's just very challenging on these numbers. Anyone that's on these targets, you know, like the it, it's just rough. So I might also aim to do a little bit of extra hit cardio this week. So my plan will be I'm talking this out literally real time. Tomorrow I'm training in the afternoon with Teresa. I think we're training at three, which is not normal for us, but she's got a whole new heap of clients um, from the remodel and she just wants to start work early. That's fair. So I think I'll go into the gym in the morning, get some steps in, get an extra 20 minute high intensity interval session done. And then I'll probably do another hit session probably on Thursday. And again, I'll split up my lower body out in the morning, hit in the afternoon. And then I'll probably save one more hit session. So 60 minutes in total for the week for either Saturday or Sunday. So I think I'll probably plan that around whenever Lane and I wanna spend some time together. If we're gonna go for dinner and catch up, I would probably say, I don't wanna have to have the pressure of getting up the next morning and knowing I've gotta do hit cardio. <laughs> so whatever day we don't have a date, I'll probably do it the, the other day. So we'll have to see, but that's my plan. Nothing's obviously changing with my training with the exception of um, the increased volume for the compound lifts. Steps, I'm probably just gonna aim for that 10,000 per week. It really is difficult for me to do anyway. So I'm kind of at my limits with the exception of last week, just that I had a photo shoot shoots, plural, and did so much more walking. So it's just gonna be a lot of movement and being really, really selfish this week, but it's one week. I think I'm gonna give myself permission to be a little bit selfish. I've got to go and try on my new dress for the Paris themed event, which would be really fun. So the media day is Paris themed and hopefully that fits just fine. If not, we'll have to have that tucked in, fitted, trimmed. Get to try on my outfits. I don't know when I'm doing that this week. I've got to drive over to St. Pete uh, to do that. Uh, I know I've got to catch up with um, my posing uh, girl, Lynn Green, who's uh, she's based up in Orlando. Probably do that a couple of times this week. Also got to fit in extra therapy. My body is a little bit beat up. I think just from the extra hit cardio, like my glutes are so sore. Like my hips this morning when I was doing squats, I was like, oh. Recovery is just not as good at the moment. So I've got to get two therapy sessions in and then all of the glam stuff as well. So girls, you know, about the nails. Got to get these bad boys done. I've probably got to get something done to my hair. I don't know yet. I might put some color in it. So it's just like all these things that like eat up your time. It's a lot of work. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you have any questions about my Road to Worlds program, the workout builder in general, carbon diet coach, since you guys have been following along and seeing how that works, please, if you have questions, drop something in the comments for me. I will get back to you. I'm always on there checking that. But until next week, It'll be peak week. I will film before I hop on the plane to go out to Vegas. So very excited for that. See you then.